The Heaven Letters, Keep Your Dreams. March 27, 2012. As channeled by Gloria Wendroff. God said, when you suffer, you are not fulfilling my will. When you are angry, you are not. We can say that my will is vastness. That which is small is not vast, and yet vastness is not a size that can be measured. Vastness exceeds measurement. Even a little deed can be vast. Greet the day, and you are in accord with my will. Exchange love, and you are in accord with my will. Tip your hat, and you are in accord with my will. With stress and strain, you are not in accord with my will. My will is for ease. You don't have to run. Gambling is more inclined to my will. My will is not heavy-handed. My will does not oppose. My will is not an affront to your will, nor is your will an affront to my will. You may be like a little shorty who fights my will, for, of course, my will is consumed in peace and in love. What else on earth would I possibly will? It is my will that you have everything I have, and I, of course, have peace and love. True love is peace. It is not fretful. True love depends upon nothing. True love is a state of being, and you were born into it. Fight is not my will. There is no victory in fight. There is loss of peace and love. I suggest that you put your fists down. Strike a different pose. Go towards rather than against. Be quick to say yes rather than no. Be quick to offer your hand. Be quick to see needs and fill them. What is disturbing behavior in someone but a call for understanding, the demand for understanding? This does not mean you are a pushover. It means you see from a clear distance. You see from further than yourself. You do not have a little territory marked around you. Your responses are not contrived, you understand. You come from where you are, and you are higher than you used to be. Shed those old clothes of thoughts and reactions. What if you did not react? Who said that you have to have a quick and ready response? You can have a thoughtful response. You can be silent. When you stand high, it takes no effort to see further. You will naturally be more creative in your responses. You will not be so heavy-handed and adamant. You will no longer see the need to set someone straight. You will educate yourself rather than someone else. In one sense, you are responsible to all. Of course, you are. At the same time, everyone is responsible unto himself, so you are not responsible for what others do or say. If you want to be someone's parent or advisor, then you do it by example. Do it for your love and not for enmity. The leader of the universe does not follow his old ways. He sets off anew. He has no map. He has consciousness instead. You have consciousness. You have consciousness galore. All you have to do is to dip into your consciousness. Consciousness is infinite. You are infinite. Bless the world with your infinite consciousness. It doesn't matter what the world thinks of you. It matters what you think of yourself. My view of you is guaranteed. It is your view of yourself that can use overhauling. I take responsibility for you, and part of my responsibility is to request that you take responsibility for yourself. In fact, you are taking responsibility for yourself right now, for you are not. 
you can't have it both ways. If you want your life to be as you desire it to be, you are responsible. Wait for no man. Wait for no God. You are the inceptor of your life. You are the fulfiller of your dreams. You let go, and, yet, you hold on. You let go, and, yet, you keep your dreams. Website, heavenletters.org